Right now at five, we are tracking the first name storm of the Atlantic hurricane season. Thank you so much for joining us on this Friday. I'm Heather Crawford and I'm Jeannie Blaylock. Anthony Austin has the night off. The National Hurricane Center says Tropical Storm Arlene formed in the Gulf of Mexico and is now headed toward Cuba. Meteorologist Robert Spetta is tracking the storm for us tonight. And so Robert, this storm is not expected to impact our first coast, right? Uh, yeah, not directly uh, as this pulls down here towards the south there, Heather. So what we're seeing right now, though, this was upgraded at about two o'clock this afternoon to a tropical storm. Now, here's the deal, though, it is going to remain a tropical storm for a very short period of time. Really, the big talk with this storm is, is just the fact that it did get that nomenclature. It did get named Arlene, pushing down here towards the south. So here's some of the main points I want you to take away from this storm. Uh, expected the weekend tonight. Maybe if you're watching our show here at 11 o'clock tonight, probably not going to be a tropical storm anymore. If it is, it's going to weaken overnight. Showers still in central and south Florida, though. Some of that outflow and kicking up some uh, thunderstorms out there south of I-4. And no direct impact here on the first coast. Now, I say direct because there is going to be some indirects in the extended forecast. And I'll talk about that in a second. But right now, here's your low level center. And this was named when we got some of that convection that kind of wrapped into it. So you had convection, some thunderstorms over a low level center, estimated winds about 40 miles per hour. It got named. But reality is this is not the prettiest storm we've ever seen out here. Here's those thunderstorms from Tampa down towards the south. So Florida is getting a little bit of showers as this moves towards the south. It's going to weaken out. But watch this. It's going to drift east and you have that kind of remnant troughing that's going to set up interact with a high and a front towards the north. And as we go ahead into Sunday, that flow coming in from the northeast is going to kick up winds for our area and some scattered showers and that risk of rip current. So we're going to talk about that wind threat here coming up in just a bit. All right, Rob.